In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the radiator on your Nissan Ultima, located behind the front bumper. Make sure you bring your car to a local shop and have them evac the AC system. On the passenger side, there's a small access hole to the bottom of the radiator. There's a Phillips head screw in there. When you loosen that, coolant will start to drain out. Make sure you have a drip pan under it. To make the coolant drain faster, you can open the cap on the top of the radiator. Remove the four clips on top of the grill. Take out the four clips on top of the grill. There's going to be a clip on the side, push in to release the clip and pull the grill forward. Do the same thing on the other side. There is two more clips on the bottom of the grill. Reach your arm inside and under, push up on the bottom of the clip to release it. And do the same thing on the other side. Remove the grill. Behind the radiator support on the passenger side, remove the condenser line bolt using a 10 millimeter socket. On the front side of the bumper support, remove the 10 millimeter bolt on the condenser lines. While holding the line, I'm prying the clip off to the side, being very careful not to mar up the lines. They're aluminum, they're very fragile. Once you have the lock off to the side, go ahead and pull your hoses out. On both sides where we just took bolts out, go ahead and pop the lines out. Remove the AC pressure sensor connector. Squeeze the little tab on the top and pull. There's two tabs on either side of the condenser. Push them in and pull up on the condenser to release it from the clips. Do the same thing on the other side. I was just using a trim tool. You could also use a flat blade screwdriver to make it easier for yourself. Once you have the clips off, remove the condenser. Remove the two bolts on the air box. They're 10 millimeters. Remove the air box, push in, tilt up, and pull out. Take the bracket off. Using a 10 millimeter socket. There's another bracket in the middle. Same thing, 10 millimeter bolt. Remove the upper radiator hose clamp. Squeeze it and pull it back. On the lower passenger side area, there's going to be a hose clamp for the radiator hose. Squeeze the clamp and pull the hose. Watch out, there will be coolant in that hose. There's another clamp for the CVT hose. Pull the clamp back and remove the hose. On the top driver's side of the radiator, there's one more CVT hose clamp.
pull the clamp down using a long pair of needle nose pliers and then pull the hose off. Remove the clips on the radiator isolator bushings. Pull that off. Do the same thing on the other side. Pull the radiator forward. When you pull it forward, this hose should disconnect and remove your radiator. Remove this old piece of tubing off of your old radiator and install it on the new one. Install the radiator. Make sure that the pins are sitting in those bushings. Install the upper radiator hose onto the radiator. Install the radiator support bushing and clip. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the new condenser, slide it into place, push the condenser down into place until it clicks. Install the pressure sensor connector, put a little bit of AC oil around your O-rings, install the line set. Push it down into place. Install the bolt. And torque it to six and a half foot pounds. Install the 10 millimeter bolt on the radiator hose bracket. Snug it down. Install the 10 millimeter bolt for the other radiator hose bracket. Snug it down. Put a little bit of oil around the two line connections and install it into the condenser line set. Install the 10 millimeter bolt. Snug it down. and torque it to six and a half foot pounds. Using a pair of 90 degrees pliers, I'm gonna reinstall the lower hose clamp. Remove the cap off the CVT hose on the radiator. Push the hose all the way up onto the fitting using a set of long needle nose pliers. Grab the clamp. Move it up. Remove the cap off the CVT. Install the CVT hose. And install the hose clamp. Install the lower radiator hose, slide the clamp forward. Install the grill, line up all the clips, push in. Install the four clips back into the top of the grill. Install the air box, push it in, twist down, and install your 10 millimeter bolts. Snug down the bolts. Now that we've completed the radiator, 
It's time to bleed the system, fill it with coolant using a funnel, start the car, and let it bubble out. Once the bubbles stop coming out, your system is bled. Go ahead and bring your car to the shop and have them recharge your AC system. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.